Alright, what's going on guys? Um, today I'm going to be breaking down the NBA slate for Tuesday, March 7th. Real quickly before we get started with today's video, um, I want to thank you guys for, for over 40 likes on yesterday's video. Ever since I've started making daily fantasy videos, that's the most likes I've ever gotten on one of my vids. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, let's try and shoot for over 50 likes on today's video. I know we can do it. So yeah, like the video if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. Alright, we've only got three games on today's Tuesday slate. But starting off at point guard, um, your top point guard on today's slate is Russell Westbrook. He gets a dream matchup at home against Portland. Portland's th the worst team defensively against the point guard. They, ra they rank 30th DVP against uh, point guards. And this is a three-game slate, so I think you're just going to jam in Westbrook on this slate, especially for cash games. Even at $64, I can't take the risk of Westbrook going off. And with the way he's been playing lately, he could easily get over 70 to 80 fantasy points in this matchup. So I think for cash games, you're just jamming in Westbrook and then just going to search for some value. Obviously, in tournaments, you can fade him, but for cash games, just lock in Westbrook. He's the best play on the slate. Under him, you got John Wall against Phoenix. John Wall is also a very good play on this slate. Even at $51, I still think Wall is in play. He can easily get over 50 fantasy points against the Suns. They're terrible defensively. I'm not sure if there's enough value to where you can get Westbrook and Wall in the same lineup. But if you want to go contrarian and you don't want to pay up for Westbrook, I really like Wall under him. He can easily get 50 fantasy points in this matchup, so I like John Wall if you're not wanting to pay up for Westbrook. Also like Damian Lillard against OKC. Um, Lillard has been playing very well lately. Uh, his price has risen a little bit, but like I said, he's been playing very well. These teams just played March 2nd, and Lillard um, played 37 minutes and put up 46 fantasy points. Same goes for John Wall. If you're not wanting to pay up for Westbrook, you can easily go towards Lillard for contrarian. If you can fit Westbrook and Lillard into one lineup, that is a really good lineup for GPPs. Westbrook and Lillard could easily combine for over 120 fantasy points, so I like that combo for tournaments. Um, Eric Bledsoe against Washington. I also really like this matchup for Bledsoe. I don't think I'm really going to be targeting him on this slate, though. Point guard, I'm probably just going to jam in Westbrook, so I'm not really going to be targeting Bledsoe. But if you're not wanting to play Westbrook and you need someone at the bin range, Bledsoe is definitely in play. He's been playing very well lately, and he's pretty cheap at only $37. So if you don't want to pay up for Westbrook, you can look towards Bledsoe at the mid-range. Uh, D'Angelo Russell against Dallas. I'm probably not going to go there. Russell's price has risen a lot to $29. I don't think he's going to be in play at that price tag. He has to get you close to 35 fantasy points, and I don't think he can do that in this slow-paced matchup against Dallas, so I'm not going to be on Russell on this slate. Um, if you need some value, you can look towards Yogi Ferrell against the Lakers. Ferrell can easily get you 20 fantasy points in this matchup. Um, the Lakers are one of the worst teams defensively, and they play at a really fast pace. So if you need some value on this slate, I like Ferrell. He's just too cheap at $16. He can easily pay that off against the Lakers, so I like him for value. Also like Jordan Clarkson at only $14. This isn't a great matchup. The Dallas... The Mavericks play at a really slow pace, but Clarkson is way underpriced. With that price tag, he only has to get you 20 to 25 fantasy points to pay that off. And he's paid off his price tag in four of his last five games. So if you need a value play, I really like Clarkson as well. He can easily pay off that cheap $14 price tag, even in the slow pace matchup. Another value play I like at the minimum price is Tyler Eulis against Washington. Eulis is probably going to be the chalk value play on the slate at the minimum price. His minutes have started to increase. Um, in his last three games, he's played 23, 20, and 33 minutes. And in Sunday's game against Boston, um, Eulis hit the game-winning shot. So the Suns might want to try and get him a little bit more minutes. He's just been playing very well lately. If he gets over 20 minutes, he can easily pay off that $10 price tag. So if you're playing Westbrook on this slate, I really like Eulis as well to go with him. He's probably going to be one of the value plays I target on this slate. He's just way too cheap. He can easily get you 20 fantasy points in this matchup. So I like Eulis for value. And yeah, that's pretty much it for point guard. Let's go ahead and move on to shooting guard. All right, your top shooting guard on this slate is CJ McCollum. He gets a good matchup against OKC. They're not good defensively against this uh, shooting guard. McCollum has been playing very well lately. So I do think he is in play even at $33. He can pay off that price tag. But I don't think I'm going to target him on the slate. Um, if I'm going to pay up at shooting guard, I'm going to take the guy under McCollum, and that's Bradley Beal. Beal has just been playing out of his mind lately. Um, he's hit value in seven straight games. So at only $32, I think Beal is a terrific play at shooting guard if you're wanting to pay up. This is just a terrific matchup against Phoenix. They're terrible defensively, and they play at a really fast pace. So if I pay up at shooting guard, Beal's going to be the guy I target. He can easily get you over 30 fantasy points in this matchup. So if you're paying up at shooting guard, I think Bradley Beal is the guy you want to target. If you want to go contrarian, you can target Devin Booker against Washington. 
Booker has been a little up and down lately. Um, in his last five games, he's put up 24, 15, 31, 26, and 23 fantasy points. So if you want to go contrarian, you can play Booker. He will be really low owned on this slate. But I think the optimal uh, lineup construction at shooting guard is going to be to pay up for Beal. So I'm not going to be on Booker on this slate. I'm just going to jam in Bradley Beal. If you don't want to pay up and you want to attack the mid-range, Seth Curry should be a guy you could target. Curry has also been playing very well lately, and his price has started to reflect on that. He is $23 on Yahoo, which is a little expensive. But given this matchup against the Lakers, I think Curry is definitely in play, even at $23. He can easily pay that off against the Lakers. So I like Curry if you don't want to pay up. If you want to attack the mid-range, he's definitely in play. And that's pretty much it for shooting guard. Um, there really isn't much value here. I think you're either going to pay up for Beal, or you're going to attack the mid-range and play Seth Curry. There really isn't much value. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to small forward. All right, your top small forward on this slate is Otto Porter. He gets a really good matchup against Phoenix. They're terrible defensively, and they play at a really fast pace. Porter is definitely in play, even at $27, given this matchup. He has been a little inconsistent lately, but he can easily bounce back in this game. Phoenix is one of the worst teams defensively, so if you want to pay up at small forward, I like Porter. I don't think I'm going to be targeting him, though. I think there's a guy at the mid-range you want to play, but if you want to go contrarian, Porter will probably be low-owned on this slate, and he could easily go off against the Suns, so I like him. Under him, you got Wesley Matthews against the Lakers. I don't think I'm going to be targeting Matthews on this slate. He has been struggling lately, and he is, he is a little expensive at $22. If I'm wanting to attack that price range at small forward, I would take the guy under Matthews, and that's TJ Warren. Warren has just been playing very well lately, and he's also really cheap at only $19. He's managed to hit value in seven straight games. So if you don't want to pay up at small forward to go with Porter, I like TJ Warren at the um, mid-range. He's going to be the guy I target on this slate. He's just way too cheap. He can easily pay off that price tag in this matchup. So Warren's going to be the small forward I target on this slate. I'm really liking him in this matchup. You can also target Mo Harkless on the cheaper end. He has also been playing very well lately, and he is really cheap at only $15. I really like Harkless if you need a cheap small forward on this slate. Given this matchup against OKC, he can easily get you 20 fantasy points, which is good for his cheap $15 price tag. So if you're looking for value at small forward, I'm really liking Mo Harkless. He's going to be someone I target if I need a value play. Yeah, that's pretty much it for small forward. Let's go ahead and move on to power forward. All right, your top power forward on this slate is Markeith Morris. Um, he gets a really good matchup against Phoenix. Like I said, they're terrible defensively and they play up in pace. I definitely think Morris is in play on the slate, even at $29. He's going up against his former team. He played for the Suns last year. So he might come out with a little bit of extra fire and try and go after them. So I like Morris if you want to pay up at power forward. He is definitely in play, even at $29. He can pay off that price tag given the matchup. Um, Julius Randle against Dallas. I don't really like this matchup. It is a slow-paced matchup for the Lakers. But Randle is really cheap at only $26, and he's been playing very well lately. So if you don't want to pay up at the top for Markeith Morris, you can target Randle. He can easily pay off that $26 price tag. He's been playing very well lately. Also at that same price tag, I like Harrison Barnes against the Lakers. If you need a cash game power forward on this slate, Barnes should definitely be a guy you target. He just plays heavy minutes every night, and he will produce. And he's also very cheap at only $26 given the matchup against the Lakers. He can easily get you 30 fantasy points in this matchup, so I really like him. If you don't want to pay up, he's going to be a power forward I target on this slate. And at the cheaper end, I do like Al Farouk Aminu against OKC. Um, OKC really struggles defensively against the power forward. Aminu put up 31 fantasy points against OKC March 2nd. I think he can easily repeat that stat line. So if you need a value play on this slate, Aminu should be a guy you target. Given his cheap $16 price tag, he can easily pay that off. He can easily get you 20 to 25 fantasy points without a problem. So I like Aminu for a value play. He's going to be someone I target if I'm looking for value. Also, another cheap power forward I like is Marquise Chris against Washington. I really like this matchup for Chris. Washington's really bad defensively against the power forward. And Chris is really cheap at only $11. I would only use him in tournaments, though, just because he is inconsistent. But given the matchup, he does have good upside for tournaments, so I like him there. But he's just too risky for cash games. He could easily lay a dud. But he also does have 30-point upside in this matchup. So if you need a cheap power forward for tournaments, I like Marquise Chris. Yeah, that's pretty much it for power forward. Let's go ahead and move on to center. All right, your top center on this slate is Martian Gortat. He gets a really good matchup against Phoenix. Gortat really has been struggling lately, though. His minutes have also been pretty inconsistent as of late. So I don't think I'm going to be targeting Gortat on this slate. I think there's guys at the cheaper end you want to target. But Gortat could bounce back in this matchup. It's a really good one against Phoenix. But with the way he's been playing and the, how inconsistent his minutes have been, I don't think I'm going to be on him on this slate. If you want to pay up at center, I'd probably target the guy under him, and that's Dirk Nowitzki. I don't really like targeting Dirk just because he's old and he doesn't really play heavy minutes. But he will produce in the minutes that he gets. 
And given this matchup against the Lakers, I do think Dirk is in play even at $20. If he plays at least 25 to 30 minutes, he can pay off that price tag given the matchup. So if you want to pay up at center, Dirk would be a guy I would target. He can easily get you 25 to 30 fantasy points against the Lakers, so I like him if you want to pay up. At the cheaper end, I really like Yusuf Nurkic against OKC. When these teams played March 2nd, um, Nurkic put up 51 fantasy points and played 37 minutes. Nurkic is definitely going to be the center I target on this slate. At only $18, he can easily pay off that price tag. He's just been playing very well lately. Ever since he got traded to Portland, he's crushed with that team. So Nurkic is definitely going to be the center I target on this slate. Um, he's just way too cheap on Yahoo at only $18. He's going to easily pay off that price tag. So I'm really liking Nurkic. He's going to be the center I target on this slate. Also, if you're looking for value at center, I really like Allen Williams against Washington. Williams has been playing very well lately, and he started to play heavy minutes. His minutes are continuing to rise, and he's continuing to produce. In his last five games, he's played 33, 22, 24, 29, and 30 minutes. And he's put up 45, 19, 33, 37, and 34 fantasy points. At only $13, I think Allen Williams is a terrific value play on this slate. If he gets 25 to 30 minutes, he can easily pay off that price tag without a problem given this matchup. So if you need a value play on this slate, I'm really liking Allen Williams at only $13. He can easily pay that off given the matchup. And yeah, that's pretty much it for center. I'm going ahead and give you guys my starting five. All right, guys, so this is my starting five for the NBA slate on Tuesday, March 7th. If you guys want my full updated lineup before lock, please follow me on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. If you look in the description, it's the first link in the description. Just cl click on that, and it'll send you to my Twitter, and then you can follow me and shoot me a DM. Offer lineups on Yahoo, FanDuel, and DraftKings, so if you play on one of those three sites, um, be sure to hit me up, and we can discuss prices for my lineups. I post on Twitter every day how my lineups do, so if you want to see how my lineups are doing, um, follow me on Twitter, like I said, and you can see that as well. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let's try and get over 50 likes on this video. I know we can do it. But yeah, if you never want to miss out on a video, please be sure to click the bell icon next to my YouTube name and you'll get notifications every time I upload. So if you never want to miss out on a video, please be sure to do that. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Good luck tonight. Peace. And when it comes to making music, I am no beginner. Hit the stage and get wild. My brainiacs loud. Call me 007 because I born with the crowd. You shine like a star, but I sun it. 50, keep it 100. Homie, you know I run it. The game needs change and logic can break 100. I had a shorty to bun it.